wildfires. There when climate change says, you gonna learn today. In California, wildfires have been spreading like, uh, what's something that spreads fast? Like really fast. Anyway, for months now, these wildfires have been burning down thousands and thousands of trees, which is bad enough, but now they're threatening to burn down famous trees. The Associated Press says California firefighters are scrambling to protect a grove of giant ancient sequoia trees. Yesterday, flames reached one grove where the trail of 100 giant sequoias is a national monument. Firefighters battle to keep the blaze from driving further into another grove of 2,000 sequoias. That's where the base of the world's largest tree known as the General Sherman and other trees have been wrapped in protective foil. Yeah, that's right, protective foil. Imagine being the scientist who figured this one out, right? One minute you're in the cafeteria about to eat a baked potato and the next minute you're like, wait a minute. And it's a great plan too, because even if the foil doesn't save the tree, well, it's gonna make that tree delicious. Whew. That wood is just gonna fall off the bone. And I know it may seem extreme that they're going to all these lengths for one tree, but guys, you don't get it. This is a celebrity tree. You know, it's the same way we all shrugged off coronavirus until Tom Hanks got it. Then we shut the whole planet down. Tom's got it! Not to mention General Sherman isn't just the largest tree in the world. It has also been around for over 2,000 years. Yeah. Think about it, that tree probably knew the cross that Jesus died on. It sees a crucifix and it's like, Steve, Steve. I mean, you realize that tree is so old, it was around during slavery and it did nothing to stop it. You just stood there and watched us, tree. You watched us. Then again, I feel like there's something we don't consider, right? 2000 years is a long time for anything to be alive. Like, how do we know that this tree actually wants to be saved? It might have been happy to see the fire coming. It's the circle of life. At last, I can finally be at peace. Yes, yes. no, oh, the humans, they're wrapping me in foil. What are you doing, you stupid humans? No, my wife is waiting for me in tree heaven, you idiots. Wait for me, Linda, wait for me. And don't you be boning Steve up there. All right, but let's move now from the crisis in California to the crisis in Afghanistan a retirement home for America's most expensive weapons. Since the Taliban took back control of the country, they've announced that girls cannot go to school and that women aren't allowed to play sports or hold most jobs. So basically, it's like if Britney's conservatorship were a country. And after some hard work restricting women's rights, it looks like the Taliban are rewarding themselves with some much-deserved R&R. Well, it's been three weeks since the U.S. military left Afghanistan. The Taliban is apparently taking advantage of the abandoned luxuries that were left behind. Uh, take a look at these photos that were posted by a journalist that have gone viral that shows the, the Taliban fighters in pedal boats uh, on the lake of uh, an empty park. Militants hit the waters in the, you know, those some are shaped like a swan or a flamingo, whatever other bird-themed Vessels, Taliban members were seen pedaling around, carrying an arsenal of weapons, including what looks to be a rocket launcher in one shot. God damn, America only left Afghanistan two weeks ago, and the Taliban already has a navy? And by the way, just a tip for the Taliban, um, I think once you're pedaling inside a swan boat, you can put the rocket launcher down for a minute, guys. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they have to feel like they have to be armed in case a skirmish breaks out, but you're still in a paddle boat, you know? Like, it's, it's like a paradox. Can't be gangster in a paddle boat. Look over there, it's an infidel. Let's get him. Whee! And you know, honestly, I think Americans should be happy about this story because for 20 years, America tried to export its values to Afghanistan and it worked. Yeah, now the Taliban all posing like Instagram influencers. Okay, take one of me with the rocket launcher next to the swan. Take one, take one. What do you think? This is gonna get so many likes. All right, and finally, a story about insects. They're having sex in your hair right now. And now, there's also a new one that is terrorizing the United States. Say hello to the spotted lanternfly. While they may look pretty, officials warn these pests are wreaking havoc on fruit crops, trees, and even lawn furniture up and down the East Coast. The quick-moving pests native to Asia and known for their pale pinkish-gray wings, black dots, and scarlet undercoat were first documented in Pennsylvania in 2014. 
While they aren't a threat to humans or pets, they feed off 70 types of plants and trees. In the four years since they first showed up at Vinecrest Vineyards and Winery in Pennsylvania, they've caused hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of damage. If you see that, we want you to identify it and we want you to squish it. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. You can't just tell untrained civilians to go insect hunting. It's gonna end in disaster. People are gonna be out in the street killing innocent butterflies. I got it! Ah, oh, shit, what have I done? Oh, I'll just say it was affiliated with ISIS. Does that work? I mean, I will say though, this is a nice change of pace, you know? Usually the government's always telling us, oh, you have to save this animal. Save that animal. And now finally, we have an animal we're supposed to kill. I think it's good to have that balance in life. You know, yeah, you wanna save the spotted owl, but then you're allowed to squish this little shit. I think all rules should be like that. Like if we're required to wear masks, we should be allowed not to wear pants in public. That's balance, it's yin and yang. So basically, it's up to all of us to stop this invasive species from destroying everything. And I don't know how confident I am, guys, because judging by our current track record on coming together to stop a deadly threat, I feel like we're only a few weeks away from the world being covered in these spotted lanternflies. You can't make me stomp on the lanternfly! This is a free country, and ah, they're all over me! Ah, so much freedom! Too much freedom! Ah!